Uh, hello guys, welcome to our next video tutorial about exploring Python internals. Um, as we have mentioned in the previous video, we are going to add two integers by using Python C API. But uh, before I've <coughs> I have to mention like I forgot uh, to conclude our installation steps. Uh, there's a single command called sudo make alt install, so not install, sudo make install, but uh, sudo make alt install. It will install Python, our custom Python uh, globally, but without interfering the default uh, system-wise uh, Python interpreter. So this is for easiness, uh, to, to ease our life. And uh, as you see, we have two different um, uh, Python interpreter and this is one is going to be used right now in order let me, let me just clear the screen so in order to uh, to explore the internals of the, the C, uh, C API we are going to attach our um, Python interpreter to debugger and let's see uh, we need to break at the main function so what's the main function let me just uh, explore it for you. So there's a Python C file in the programs and it has this uh, the main function. So we need to break at at this point because uh, otherwise it will initialize all the environment and uh, uh, and it will uh, prompt the interpreter. So let me just show it to you. Uh, if we run like this it's going to uh, come up with the, this prompt, but this is not a desired behavior. Behavior. That's why we need to uh, break at main and then run. Uh, that's it. So if you recall, uh, in order to create a new integer type, we need to use pylong from long uh, long function, and this is uh, is here. So create a new int object from a C long int. Let's come back to the debugger screen and clean a bit. So we should call it like, and this is our integer. <coughs> There's an object, it, as you see, it's it, it's type uh, the pi object. So I remember we say that everything is a, a object in the Python and that's that's the case actually so let's just explore a bit uh, what's going on here and so and where is it Long. So we need to find like pi long new. <laughs> Let me just pi long new. Yeah. Uh, so this is going to allocate a new int object with size digits, return null, and set exception if we run out of the memory. <coughs> so this is a uh, as I commented, the source code this will create a new int object and uh, which is uh, uh, allocating memory for a given int here, pylong with uh, with the usage of the pylong new. And let's create another uh, integer and explore a bit uh, the type things. So um, if you see uh, this type object as object reference count, object type. So object type is a pylong type, which is a pi type type, uh, if we recall uh, from the previous <coughs> video. Excuse me. And if we just uh, just print this, and as you see that there's an OB base and inside this OB base there's an OB type, object type, which is pi type type. So as we clarified. And it has TP name as we clarified and uh, let me just show again pi long type pi long type. 
and so there's a TP name uh, TP as number TP as sequence and etc uh, which is shown in our uh, debugger as well <clears throat> and ex explore the pylon type itself the same thing so because our created pylon from long is a pylon type and uh, everything is inherited from this pylon type to the uh, to the our uh, integer integer type i would say and test tp as number so in order to get the idea uh, how to uh, sum up the uh, sum up the two integers internally uh, we are going to find which function is going to do uh, this for us and it has uh, as you see it has n b add so it's <laughs> number add it will call the long add of the function and let's just um, see what's what's this so it's uh, the mb add is going to uh, accept two pi object type so everything is pi object and uh, as we say uh, so if every integer is also the pi object so everything in python uh, can be actually cast casted to pi object it's actually said in uh, in here but i i don't know if I can find it right now. Nevertheless, we will figure out. <coughs> so mb add, uh, and we have, add, as you see, it's required uh, the pointer, so we can uh, pass to the nb add these uh, memory addresses, and will it will uh, add them, add the number for us. So let's just call it. Uh, call pi long pylon type tp as number nb add and then just pass our first integers memory address and then our second integers uh, memory address so it's returned another pi object and if you uh, explore the type is it's also the pylon type so it's added to pylon type and returned uh, this summed uh, number it's also the pylon type and we need now so how to prove that we have added uh, two integers successfully here and we need to call uh, Pi object print function so it's going to pr uh, print at the past object and if we uh, do the print print and pass this returned memory address it's, it's its own signature so nothing fancy here it's it has on segmentation fault uh, the error because we uh, there's a some pi initialize function which is uh, here so let me just add it here so initialize a python interpreter in an application of medic python this should be called before using any other python c api functions so we need to call this pi initialize in order to use pi object print function then just call it uh, pi initialize oops that's it and let's print so as you see it summed up successfully so we have numbers as you see and it's summed up and the, the, the number the result is a correct so uh, just remember that when you <coughs> just easily adding uh, two integers together uh, add the integers uh, this whole thing is happening and uh, as a background so that's uh, uh, actually adding two integers 
together and then the printing the everything. So we have explored what's the pylon type, pi type type, what's the main function and when to break actually uh, when we want to attach the Python process to the debugger. And also we explored uh, how we can call uh, C API functions in order to uh, add, uh, add two integers. So the same idea, we can divide module and everything uh, with this uh, Python C, C API. Uh, that's it for, for now. So uh, it's a base idea that we should uh, start explore <coughs> the integer type. And we have explored how to add uh, two integers here uh, using the Python C API. And, uh, if you are unfamiliar with the GDB syntax or the uh, debugger syntax, we are going to use uh, it uh, extensively here. That will be the valuable, valuable knowledge and information to you as well. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye.